Hey widget watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be creating a beautiful tic-tac-toe game using Flutter. In this game, there is two play mode. One with play with AI and the other is play with another player. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I have already created a new Flutter project. Now let's start with adding some assets. So here inside the root directory, here create a new directory called assets. And inside this directory, here I have added these two images. One is the red image for zero and the second is the green image for X. Then here create a, another directory as fonts for adding the custom fonts. And inside this directory, here I have added this roboto mono regular .ttf font. Now let's add these assets to the pubspec file. So here come inside this pubspec.yml file. Then here first add the assets and then add the path for your assets. Now let's add the fonts. So here uncomment these lines of code. Then here first add the name of the font and then add the path of your font. Now come to the main.dart file and from here first remove this my homepage widget. Then inside the lib directory create a new directory called screens. And inside this directory here create a new file called play mode screen.dart. Then inside this file first create a new stateless widget called play mode screen. Then import the material package. Now come again to the main.dart file and from this home property here add the play mode screen then import this class. Now change the purple color to the blue color. Okay. Now come to the play mode screen and then come to the build method and from here return the scaffold widget. Then set the background color to this hex color. Okay. Then inside the body first add a center widget. Then add a column widget, then set the main axis alignment to center. Uh, then here add the children property, then add a row widget, then set the main axis alignment to center. Okay. Then here add the image widget, then set the path of your first image. So here I'm adding the cross image. Okay. Then set the width of this image as 100, then add the second image widget, then set the path of your second image. So here I'm adding the circle image. Then set the width of 100 for this image. Now come outside of this row widget. Then here add a sized box widget and set the height to 50. Then add a text widget which says choose your play mode. Then set the style. So here add the text style and set the font size to 24 and font family to Roboto Mono. Then again add a sized box widget and add its height as 50. Then add an elevated button widget. Then first add the text widget as child with say with AI. Okay. Then set the style. So here add the text style. Then set the font size to 24 and font family to Roboto Mono. And for color here add the white color. Then uh, add the style property for this elevated button and set the background color to blue and add the minimum size to width as 300 and height as 50. Then add a vertical padding of 10. Then set the elevation to 10 and shadow color to blue gray. Okay. Now add the on press property of this button. Then this button will be used to navigating to the next screen. Okay. So here add the navigator dot push method. Then add the context. Then add the material page route. Then add the builder and add the context. And then here add the choose side screen widget. Okay. And then inside this class, pass the is AI property as true because we are going to play with AI if we click on this button. Then come to the lib directory and inside the screens directory, here create a new file called choose side screen dot dot. Then inside this file, create a new stateful widget as choose side screen, then import the material package. Now come again to the play mode screen and from here import the choose side screen class. Now come to the choose side screen class and then add a final bool property called is AI. Then add this parameter to the constructor. Then inside the play mode screen after this elevated button here add a sized box of height 30. Then copy the above elevated button and paste it here. Then change the background color to white, shadow color to gray and make the is AI to false because we are going to play with the another player if we click on this button. Then change the text to with friend. Then change the text color to black. Now come to the choose side screen. And then here add a string property called selected side. Then set the default value to X. Because this is the initial selected value for the side. Okay. 
then come inside the build method and from here return a scaffold widget and then set the background color to this hex color. Then for body, here add the center widget, then add the column widget and set the main axis alignment to center. Then here add a children property, then add a text widget which say pick your side, then set the style, okay? Then for style, here add the font size as 24 and font family to Roboto Mono. Then add a sized box of height 60. Then add a row widget and set the main axis alignment to center. Then add the children property and then again add the column widget and inside children property. First add the image widget, then set the path for your cross image. Then set the width to 150 and add the fit as boxfit.cover. Then here add the transform.scale widget, then set the scale to 1.5 because initially we cannot increase the size for the radio. So here that's why we are wrapping our radio widget to the transform.scale widget and making scale to 1.5 so it will increase the size by 50%. Okay, then for child here add the radio widget, then set the value to x, group value to selected side and active color to green because our image is in green color. Then add the unchanged property, then add the value and then set the selected side to the value. Then copy this column widget and then add a sized box of width 20, then paste it here. Then change the part to circle image and change the value to zero and change the active color to red. Okay. Now come outside of this row widget and here add a sized box of height 50. Then add the elevated button widget and then add the text widget as child which says start game. Then set the style and for style set the font size to 24 and font family to Roboto Mono and color to black 54. Then add the style property for the elevated button and set the minimum size to width 200 and height as 50. Then set the background color to white and add the vertical padding of 10. Then set the elevation to 10. Okay. And for shadow, here add the gray color. Then add the on pressed property and add the navigator.push method. Then add the context and then add the material page route. Then add a builder and add the context inside it and then pass the game widget here, game screen widget. Then here pass selected side as selected side and is AI as is AI. So these are the property that we are going to pass to the game screen. Then inside the screens directory create a new file called game screen dot dart and then inside this file first create a new stateful widget called game screen. Then import the material package. Now here let's add the few properties. First add a final string property called selected site. Then add the final bool property called is AI. And then add these fields inside the constructor and mark these fields as required. Then come inside the choose side screen and here import the game screen class now come to the game screen class and then add a list of string called board then set the initial value as list of length 9 with the empty strings then add a string called current parameter then set the initial value to x then add a string called winner then set the initial value to empty string then add an int variable called player score then set the initial value to 0 then add an int called AI score and sets the its initial value to 0. Then add a string variable as player1 name and sets in initial value to player and add the string called player2 name and add the initial value as AI. Okay. Then add the init state method and inside this init state method, here add a condition if the selected size is 0 and is AI is true. That means if the player selected 0 and is playing with AI. In that case, set the current player to X and then call the AI move method. And don't worry about this AI move method. We will create this method later. Okay. Then again add a condition. If the is AI is false, that means user is playing with another player. In that case, set the player1 name to player1 and player2 name to player2. Now let's create the AI move method. So here I have created this method. Now come inside this method and here first add a for loop and this loop will run from 0 to 9. Now wait few minutes and let me quickly build the logic for all the required method.
Now let's quickly create this winner method. So come below here and here create this winner method and define the logic for this method. So that's it for major logic part. Now come to the build method and let's quickly create the UI for this page. So from here remove this empty placeholder and here add a scaffold widget and then add a background color to this hex color. Then inside the body uh, first add a column widget then set the main axis alignment to center then here add the children property then add a padding widget then set the padding to symmetric and 70 okay. Then add a row widget, then add the children property, then add the text widget, then set the text to player1 name, then set the style, then set the font size to 20, okay? And for font family, here add Fumoto Mono. Then add a container widget and set the margin to symmetric horizontal 10. Then add a padding to symmetric 20 vertical and 10 horizontal. Then add the then add the decoration and set the border radius to circular 20 then set the color to white and add the box shadow and set the color to gray 400 and add the blur radius to 30 and offset to 03 then add the child property then add the text widget and before narrating the whole code i just request you to follow me as i'm doing to create this beautiful ui
So now the UI part is completed. Now let's quickly run this app and see how it looks. So here the app is started. Now let's click on this play with AI button. And here we are on the choose side screen. Now let's click on the start game button. And here we are on the game screen. So now let's play this game. Okay. And yeah, I won the game. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.